Hello and welcome to the Sketching Greyhound. A new year also here on my channel. So I wanted to take a look back at the last year. We will do so today in regards of my videos. So grab a cup of coffee and join me and let me know what were your favorites in the last year personally or also if you liked some pictures of mine, especially in the last year, let me know which one those were because I can only steer my channel in a direction that you, the viewer, would want to if you tell me what you want to. <laughs> so let's get started. So my first video actually was not a picture video. So no original picture in it. If you want to move to the first picture, go to this timestamp. So I was talking about how to make an unsuccessful channel and I, I'm not sure if I even mentioned that, but as it was the first video on my channel that year and it was on, let me check, on the 3rd of May. I did not post for five months. That is also a way to have an unsuccessful channel. <laughs> but I had a couple of really successful moments in the year prior. For example, when I posted the video of uh, how to cook that, I'm immensely thankful for the attention I got through Anne and Dave Rian sharing that in their community. Through that support, I got the monetization for this channel. So I'm immensely thankful. However, it also showed me a single shout out is just something momentarily and you need to really use that momentum, but it's also not that big of an effect as people always hope it is. I'm drawing a lot of people and sometimes they notice that I do and, and they share with their community. Nick is not green was another one from the year prior to last year. But honestly, what I thought in the beginning that that would help me also grow the channel if people liked it enough to share it with their communities. I realized pretty soon that it's not as big of a help as you might expect it to be. Just simply because How To Cook That is a cooking channel. Nick Is Not Green is a commentary channel. I'm an art channel. People are watching this, people are liking the picture of the person that they like. But I will not always draw and Reardon, I will not always draw Nick Is Not Green. I'm drawing other people and they will lose interest if they did not come for the art and if they did not enjoy me as a person in a way that makes them coming back. So without delving too deep into this topic right now, I think that's the main reason apart from only posting, I think, nine videos in a year. <laughs> that is definitely another reason. But let's move on to the next video or the next two videos because I announced in a specific video that I wanted to draw my own tarot card which I really wanted to and I designed one card in the last year. So it is a lot of work and it is fun. I, I want to continue it and I hope I will this year, but it takes a lot of time to create these cards. I've created The Fool from Evan and Caitlin. It was really fun and, and I think it captures Evan pretty nicely and, and, and it's, it's a bit much, but it's a fun picture. So I want to continue this. I don't know when I will be able to though. It was a unique challenge and I want to continue that. The next video was a big collaboration organized by the great Donna and it was really fun. She, she creates these amazing big collaborations between artists and it goes over multiple days because she just manages to get so many talented people together. This one was Christmas in July and I was thinking about what to do. I had a little bit of trouble and I think I worried her a little bit because I was not that productive in that time. I wasn't able to churn out videos or anything and I'm not sure she really believed that I would manage to make a video in time. Uh, but the last thing I wanted to do was let her down. So I chose this center, which I think is one of the more well-known and I think it turned out really nice. I, I, I really like it. I talked in the video about uh, Christmas traditions in Germany. There was an article from I think BuzzFeed that I walked through and discussed if it was really something Germans did or did not do. They weren't that crazy in the end, but I think the video was fun. So if that sounds like fun to you, check it out. The next video is actually a little bit sad. So no, the dog is all right. It is Jesse. <laughs> actually my logo, if you did not know that. So my logo is also a picture of my dog. I already drew in the past my girl so this time I drew my boy and I tried to raise money for this organization Paws in Ireland and not very successful. I don't have the biggest views, I don't have the biggest platform and they announced that they had to close down last year on 
which I think is terrible because there are not that many dog rescue organizations in Ireland left. They don't get a lot of support there. And there are a lot of dogs, especially in the racing industry, but not only there, who need help and who need an awesome organization like Paws. They couldn't finance anymore the vet bills. So that is actually one of the things I would love to do with this channel, helping organizations like that and people like that. But as the platform isn't that big, I can't do it. And, and that was just so frustrating trying to get this video out there. Not a lot of people were even watching it. Let me check for a second how many people I reached. 87 and not many of them, if at all, donated probably to this course, which is immensely frustrating. I have this small of a platform. I will continue to try to use it because it would feel wrong not to, but I would love to do so much more. The next picture was quite special and coffee related. I drew Jacksepp, the guy, which probably a lot of you know. He has he has over 28 million subscribers here on YouTube. But still, he is a gaming YouTuber mainly, and there is probably not that big of an overlap in our viewership. So <laughs> don't feel bad if you don't know him. Anyway, he is big. He has a lot of money, I would assume. Uh, I don't know why I am holding up my coffee cup like this all the time. So let me. <laughs> Put it down. He has his own coffee company. It's called Top of the Morning Coffee. And I use it to draw him uh, or paint him. It was a very interesting experience and I was quite surprised actually because I've watched a couple of other videos of people how they did it, how they drew with coffee. And honestly, by now I think some of them are cheating by just using brown watercolors because coffee is not watercolor. It does not act like watercolor. And in some videos, it seems to do so and I think not all of them are completely honest. It wasn't too easy. I needed two tries to get a result that I really liked but I like this in the end. It still looks a little bit comic-y. I think it, it doesn't look photorealistic but it's coffee and it was my first time to draw with coffee, to paint with coffee. So I think it's nice. Then there was Halloween and I liked the idea and <laughs> somehow also the execution. It is quite funny actually. When I try to write a horror story with an AI in the video and I drew Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's for that video. There is this software that creates AI stories or more, more so they, they allow you to have like, like an old school text dungeon crawler, you know, and they, the AI creates everything for you. I tried to do that in a Five Nights at Freddy's world, but the AI really struggled with being and staying in the horror genre. So it, it was very confusing and was very strange. Um, I think it is fun, so check it out if you want to, if it sounds like an interesting idea to you. And let me know what you think there. She listens to everything I'm saying. She'll tell you if I lie to you. Then we already have the last picture of the last year. And this one, I really like how it turned out. And I wanted to do this for a long time, actually was thinking about making kind of a series about The Greatest Showman and showcasing all those minorities in there and discussing how they lived in the time depicted there. But I chose for at least the first one, I don't know if I will do more, of The Bearded Lady because she's quite prominent in the movie and the message of the song she sings is something I want to repeat here again. There's nothing you're not worthy of, as always, as long as you are not hurting others <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> but it is a message that not everybody is told often enough. So this video was important for me to make. I wanted to make it. I think it turned out quite nicely. But that already was the last picture of the last year. Then there was Thankless, which is again something that Jacksepticeye has started. And he is collecting in a certain time frame. Thankmas is connected to Christmas. I think that much is obvious. So on the 10th of December last year, he had another Thankmas event, which is more streaming based, not, not necessarily video based, but I still created a video for it, released it on the 10th. And I made a t-shirt 
design which you can actually in the video in the description of this one download and use yourself if you want to uh, it's free on Thingiverse so if you feel like it if you know a Jacksepticeye fan <laughs> you could make them aware that they can use that material I'm still not 100% sure if this will survive the washing machine but I will find out now because I spilled coffee over it while filming this but that was 2022 from an art perspective, from this channel's art perspective. I once again had a lot of fun with the channel. It is sometimes a little bit frustrating to have views about 60 or something for some videos that you really put your heart into. I'm doing this for fun, I'm doing this for a hobby and it still gets frustrating, yes, but I will continue to do so. I will do a little bit of a change. There will be smaller videos, just because some of my videos just got so big and difficult to, to make that they took a very long time and I want to draw more. I want to, to have more pictures. I want to get more into the art part again, apart from just doing the editing. So there will be smaller videos, shorter videos, discussing just the picture, a little bit around probably, but mostly the picture. And then from time to time there will be still bigger ones because I still have a couple of ideas that I just want to do. And will it help me on this channel? No, it will hinder the growth, but that is okay. I still hope that you will be here to see what I come up with. The next pictures will actually be very colorful which is not normal for me so stay tuned for those and thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much if you have watched in the past i would be so honored if i could welcome you back during this year perhaps for every single video if you're inclined to do so ring that bell hit that subscription button not necessarily in that order but that's it for now i thank you so much for watching and have the greatest of years goodbye <laughs>